Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. Finally, we get a new Canary channel build after a few weeks. And this is a huge one because we have the first Gallium build for Windows 11 and all the new features that we currently have in the dev channel should be brought to the Canary channel. There are a few features that this build is not getting from the dev channel, but those are some small little features that are not really as important. And also if we're typing WinVer inside the operating system, we will now see that we are currently on Windows version 23H2. So we can officially say that Microsoft is testing features for Windows 11 version 23H2. The build that we're talking about today is the build 25,905. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by HitPaw Photo Enhancer. HitPaw is specialized in AI and its mission to provide effective tools for everyone. HitPaw Photo Enhancer is the best AI photo enhancer available for both Mac and Windows. You can use one of the five AI models to enhance your photos. General model is suitable for enhancing photos under a thousand pixels. The denoise model will help you get rid of noise inside photos. When selecting the face model, you will have two options, sharp and soft, which will allow you to improve a photo portrait. Additionally, you can use the colorize model and also the color calibration model if you want to colorize a black and white photo or to improve colors inside a photo. After you select your AI model, select the resolution, the location where you want the photo to be saved, and then finally click on the export button. If you want to get the biggest discounts for HitPa Photo Enhancer, make sure to check out their event from the description. Check out HitPa Photo Enhancer from the links in the description below today. Let's continue with the video. So first of all, in this build, Microsoft is announcing that we're getting new features from the dev channel, such as the dev drive options and all the settings that you can have access to. Of course, for that, you're going to have to enable the developer mode inside your operating system. We also have the new backup and restore improvements, dynamic lighting settings, the new Windows app SDK version of the file explorer, which is sometimes bugged because this is an extremely unstable build, if you ask me. So I don't recommend you upgrade to this on a normal computer. But as you can see, we're getting the new home page, the new address bar, the new gallery, and so on inside the Canary channel. And I think that is pretty nice. For example, on my laptop, I have an Asus laptop. I don't even get this build because I think Asus laptops have a lot of issues with this build. And uh, that's why right now I'm filming on a virtual machine. That's the only way I could have tested this build. Also, we're getting Rust in the Windows kernel. Rust offers advantages in reliability and security over traditional programs written in C over C++. More info about this in the article below. And also starting in this insider preview build, in the Canary channel, Microsoft removed support for ARM 32 UWP applications from Windows on ARM. More info about this as well in the article below. Microsoft has also worked on improving the Windows local administrator password solution, and there are a few improvements for that. Of course, if you want to learn more about that, you can check out the article below. We're not going to go in depth with features that I don't think are so interesting for the majority of users. We're also getting the updated emojis inside Windows 11 in the Canary channel, and with the update of the color font format to color our v1 windows is now able to display richer emoji with a 3d like appearance with support coming soon to some apps and browsers i think that is pretty nice microsoft also temporarily relaunched zune.net last month and they fixed an issue that was causing some challenges in getting the original zune drivers to install in windows 11 with this building the canary channel i think that is pretty nice regarding the microsoft store we're getting some updates to the microsoft store and the canary channel for example more pricing information and also a new section called ai hub where Microsoft will promote the best AI experiences built by the developer community and also Microsoft. This is a space where Microsoft will educate customers on how to start and expand their AI journey, inspiring them to use AI in everyday ways to boost productivity, creativity, and so much more. And you have here the AI Hub, for example, Luminar Neo, which is an app that you can try it now. You can click on Try It Now, and you will be able to try out this app, and you will be, of course, redirected to the Luminar Neo photo editor that you can try out because this is currently using the AI to edit photos. Now, the thing that I'm going to talk about in this video is something that uh, Seno Panther on Twitter noticed is that if you go to Windows Update and Advanced Options and then to Recovery, you'll be able to now fix problems using Windows Update. This option will now work and you can reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will all be preserved. I think that is a very, very nice option that will help you fix certain issues with your operating system. And this is basically a more complete 
version of the resetting your PC because here you will also keep your apps and settings and I think that is pretty nice. So this is pretty much all there is to it in this Canary Channel build. If you want to learn more about this build, as I've said, check out the article below and make sure to follow Phantom Ocean 3 and Sentinel Panther on Twitter because they are always coming up with the news and hidden features inside these new builds. And if you want to learn more about those faster than I post a video, you can go ahead and follow them on Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.